Know ye not that to whom ye yield your servant, yourself servants to obey, his servants ye are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. Unto righteousness. It says, who you yield yourselves servants to obey. Mm -hmm. His servants ye are to whom ye obey. And it gave yes. you two choices. It says, whether unto sin mm -hmm. or obedience unto righteousness. Mm -hmm. There's that, that's it. Those are the two choices. Uh, either you're going to serve God or you're going to serve the devil. Amen. Amen. Um, there are people who don't want to surrender to the control of God. Amen. And I, I believe that's why they have such a hard time, some of them, with uh, this plan of salvation. Uh, they think that uh, they don't want to be uh, what... They, what they say, uh, controlled. They don't want to be um, subject to no one but themselves. Uh, but as the scripture says, amen, you are subject to somebody, amen, mm -hmm. uh, either God or the devil. Amen. Um, and I, just for a little while, I just want to talk, and it's so that you might understand uh, really what being a servant of God is and what it means and what it's not. The Bible uh, says in Matthew 11 and 30, it says, uh, take my yoke upon you and learn me for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Um, and Galatians 5 and 1. Galatians 5 and 1. Yes. Stand fast, therefore, uh -huh. in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free. This is a little strange because we're talking about being a servant, which means you're under bondage. Amen. Yes. And we're talking, and we see in the scripture where God said, take your yoke upon, upon you and learn of me, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. In the yes. old days, they used to yoke uh, slaves, I mean, to keep them uh, from running or uh, to do it to, as a punishment. And they even yoke uh, uh, oxen together to, to plow uh, so that the younger oxen stay alongside and learn from the older ox. Um, so we, we see in one scripture, it talks about his yoke being easy and his burden light. Uh, and then the next scripture is his stand fast and for in the liberty. So which one is it? Is it bondage or is mm -hmm. it liberty, which is freedom? Uh, serving God honestly, being his servant, is being free. Amen. See, you're free from sin. Sin is bondage. Yeah. Sin is uh, uh, what uh, uh, yokes you down and, and makes things hard. But God said, I come that you might have life and that more abundantly. Oh, Lord, I wish I had some help today. Uh, I, just really simply put, thanks. God came to free us from bondage. Yes, we are his servants, uh, but it's not a servitude like what we, what we think it is with, with the control and uh, what we thought it was, you know, in slavery. And it's, it's not it's not like that. Uh, salvation is a beautiful life. People make it hard when they're trying to do two things. They're trying to live for God and put one foot in church. This is a this is a life that you've got to give totally and completely to God. And you can't live this life with with uh, uh, desires for worldly things, amen, and, and still trying to uh, uh, please God. The problem, the problem with the church today is they're lukewarm. 
they're trying to 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 hold on to the world or uh, look attractive to the world by taking on worldly things, and and because of that, there's 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 no difference. Sin is creeping into the church. Uh, Sin is creeping into the preachers. Sin is creeping into the missionaries, to the mothers. It's, and it, now it's hard to find a real church that's standing for God, that's standing, amen, according to the word of God. Amen, amen. God came to free us from sin. And now amen. folks are talking about, uh, you You know, you, everybody's sin and that you know, and that that's that's I, I understand that the whole mentality of it, but listen, if the if the devil can keep folks in sin, mm-hmm. you can't tell me God can't keep folks from sin. Amen. First John three and eight and, and the ninth verse. It says, He that committed sin is of the devil, for the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Now listen at this. Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin. I'm going to stop right there because I know that it might take a little time to think again. I'm going to read that again. Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin. For his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. That's in your Bible. I'm a, first John 3, 8, and 9. That's in your mm-hmm. Bible. Now, that does not mean that folks don't uh once you once you get saved that you know you're not gonna make a mistake or or uh uh or fall back into sin. Uh, but what it means is that God can keep you from sin. It, he, the, there's another scripture that says, God is able to keep that which we have committed, committed. unto him. Amen. When you commit yourself to God, he will keep you from sin. But the problem is folks will not commit to God. They commit today or they commit this week or this month or this year. But by and by, somewhere along the line, they stop committing themselves to God. And that's why sin creeps back in. There is a lifestyle that is so much better than what folks are wrestling with now. Mm-hmm. My heart goes out because I see so much pain in the world. Mm-hmm. I see folks wrestling with addictions, whether it's drug addictions, sex addictions, uh uh, stealing addictions, uh, it, it, whatever, whatever the, the the addiction may be, my heart goes out because I know that there is a a better way. There is God said He came. Uh, Matthew one twenty one says, uh, "She shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, Jesus. and he, he shall save." His people, people from, from their, their sins. sins. And people don't realize they go into the psychiatrists and the psychologists and the, all of these different people trying to get help. They don't realize the problem is sin. Mm-hmm. That's why folks are so caught up in things. It's sin. It's sin. That's, oh, I wish I could get people to understand and see it. The reason the world is in the shape that it's in is because of sin. Amen. Mothers giving away their babies, selling mm-hmm. their children into sex, sex uh, 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 slaves, and they're, they're, they're turning mothers against fathers, and the father leaving the home, and uh, uh, he's sleeping with this woman and that woman, and you can't find an honest person nowhere on the in the world hardly almost now. Uh, it's just it's so messed up. The world is so messed up, and it's all because of a three letter word S I N. And the and the, the the scary part about it, churches are not even 
speaking against it or telling folks what 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 the problem is. They, 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 you know, we're trying to rationalize why people act this way. And we try to rationalize and give a reason why this is like this. And, and when God said that the wages of sin is death, yes. Amen. God said that. Yes. And that's the problem why uh, uh, you got folks with depression and uh, 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 all of these different problems. It's mm-hmm. nothing. But sin is talking about the fruit of living in the spirit. Now, look at this. Look at this. I, I hope my whole message is kind of all over the place now, but because uh, I wanted to talk about God's rules and and uh, what his 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 rules are. But before I get there, let me just tell you about the benefit of living by God's rules. Is that all right? Uh, Galatians 5 and 22, it says, but the fruit of the spirit, what that means, that simple phrase means living by the spirit produces this. That's what it means by, but the fruit of the spirit. Fruit means what it produces. The spirit produces this. Love, joy, Peace, long suffering, gentleness, meekness, I'm sorry, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. Look at what God's fruit living in the spirit produces. It produces love. It produces joy. You you see you see people today, very few people really have joy. There are people happy for a second. They might be happy because they got a new car, they might be happy because they got a new home, they might be happy because they got a raise or a new job. But the difference between joy and happiness, joy lasts. Mm-hmm. Joy, 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 joy. You can have joy in the midst of a, a going through the worst time of your life, you can still have joy. Amen. You can still have peace mm-hmm. going through the death of a loved one. Yes. You can still have peace uh, uh, being unemployed, not yes. real, not knowing where your next meal comes. You can have Amen. the peace of God in these situations. Amen. But look, look these words that I'm the joy, the love, and the peace, those three words. Look at the world today and, and tell me if you really see that being manifested in the world. Do you see love? I mean, you can literally see people giving away their children, mm-hmm. selling them into uh uh as sex slaves, you can see them, amen, because of drugs, uh, 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 leaving their children in garbage cans and on doorsteps. And I mean, love is literally being look like sucked out of the world. That word joy, look at, look around you and really see how many people are, have joy. How many people have peace? I mean, really have the peace that God says surpasses all understanding. Look around and just and and really measure measure the world by those three words. And and, and you tell me what you see. The next one says long suffering. People are so short tempered now. The very opposite of long suffering. You cut somebody off on the road. You better be careful because they might drive by and shoot you. Mm-hmm. I mean. It's, it's just that bad now. Gentleness. There's no gentleness now. Folks are so quick-tempered, hot-tempered. You say something to them, they're ready to cuss you out, uh, uh, tell you about yourself, give them, give them peace in their mind. Look at what God is promising and what is going on in the world. Even measure it against some churches. I mean, it's really not 
then the goodness, faith, meaning believing in God, meekness, the humility. That, that's what meekness is. It's a humility. It's, it's forgiving people when even when you have the power to, to, to do them harm. Temperance means self-control. I want you to measure, measure the world by these words. And you can see that there is a need for God. You can see that very few people are God's servant. Because when you God serving, you're going to produce these things. Amen. You're going to produce them to the point where people are going to know this. You, you, you notice right away a lamp that's turned on in a dark room. Amen. You notice it right away. Why? Because oh, yeah. it's different. It stands mm -hmm. out. And that's yeah. how God's people, oh my goodness. Amen. Amen. That's how God's people are supposed to be. We're yeah. supposed to be a light into the world mm -hmm. a city that's set on the hill that cannot be mm -hmm. amen 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 uh i i was talking about um uh, people that don't want to surrender to the control of god because mm -hmm. it sounds it sounds so taxing so it is it's, it's very opposite of what we've been taught you know you you grow up you know it, you taught to think for yourself and uh, uh, don't let nobody control you and tell you what to do. And that. God, God is not trying to control you. Matter of fact, he's the very one that's not trying to control you because he told he, he gives you the choice. He said, choose you this day whom you will serve. God is not trying to control you. He, he's giving you a choice. Amen. And when you, when you begin to love God, Mm -hmm. You want to please God. Amen. That's why he said my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Because when you love someone, it's not mm -hmm. hard to do uh, what they want you to do. Yeah. And it's not what he wants us to do. It's not anything strange. He said, what does the Lord God require of thee? Uh, to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humble with the Lord thy God. God. That's, all, that's all God is asking for. Mm -hmm. Do justly. Love mercy and, oh, and walk God. humble with God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. When you do that, you're going to follow yeah. his rules. Amen. Amen. When, when the, 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 I believe it was Peter on the day of Pentecost when they were mm -hmm. there. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now, when they heard this, uh -huh. they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, uh -huh. men and brethren, men what and shall we do? Brethren. Was this was Peter on the day of Pentecost? He 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 stood up in the midst and he began to preach to those that were around, uh, pretty much like I am doing right now. But he did it, Amen. And he preached Christ to them, Amen. And those people heard this; they were pricked. It, it it touched them in their heart. They wanted to know, well, Peter, what what should we do? What how do we uh, 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 partake of this salvation? And Peter stood up and he said unto them, listen, repent. All that word means is to turn from sin. Amen. It means, uh, uh, Lord, I'm done with it. I want a taste of your heavenly gift. I want I, that. That was what I asked God. Lord, I, I didn't even know if God was real. But I, I was talking to him. I said, if you're real, mm -hmm. let me feel you. Let me, right. let me know that this is you. Yeah. And, and and you work out in my life, whatever, whatever's not right with it, you work it out. Whatever you displease with in my life, I'm surrendering. <laughs> I'm surrendering to you. So whatever it is, whatever you're not pleased with, I'm mm -hmm. done with it. I'm, I, I just, I washed my hands of it and said, Lord, take it away. It was a song out. I think Yolanda Adams used to sing, it was take away, Lord, mm -hmm. whatever they mean, uh, that just pleases you, take it away. And that, mm -hmm. that was my, that was my, that was my song. And then because I began to, to, to talk to God and tell God, Lord, take it away. Mm -hmm. I wanted to know the fullness of God. I wanted mm -hmm. to know the benefits of walking mm -hmm. with him, of fellowshipping mm -hmm. with God. 
I wanted to know, hey amen, what God had in store for me. Because listen, God has a plan for every one of our life. Yeah. Amen. He has a plan for each one of us. Yeah. And But it's not until we come to God and we surrender to him that we begin to fulfill that plan of our life. Amen. We spend a lot of time, amen, messing around with stuff that, 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 that God don't even want for us. Amen. Life seems so hard because, amen, we 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 toss to and fro. Amen. Uh, uh, this today we want to go left. Tomorrow we want to go right. Uh, the next day we want to go up. The, the, the month later we want to go down. We just we all over the place. Yeah. That's why we can't become uh, what God want us to become. But when we follow God, when we surrender to God, amen. When we repent of the sin that that we have committed and we're Amen. baptized in jesus name don't don't let nobody tell you no other way father son and holy ghost that's not a name Amen. those are those are titles Amen. but it clearly says amen repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of jesus christ amen that's the name Father, yeah. Son, and Holy Ghost is not a name. Amen. Amen. And that's something we can talk about later, but if you want to know more, uh, just let me know. Amen. It says, for the remission of your sin, and ye shall receive the gift of the oh. Holy Ghost. Some people say Holy Ghost, some people say Holy Spirit. I'm Amen. not going to bet that it means the same thing. <laughs> if you say Holy Amen. Spirit, or Holy Ghost is the a spirit same. is a ghost. The ghost same. is a spirit. It's the same thing. Amen. Sometimes we 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 really we we fight about stuff that don't really need to be fought about. Amen. Mm -hmm. it, but he says if you repent, amen, mm -hmm. and turn from sin and you're baptized, yeah. and you will receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is uh the spirit of God. Yeah. Dwelling in you. Amen. Amen. That's how God can keep you from sin. Amen. Because the Holy Ghost is like your, your conscience on, on steroids. It lets Amen. you know, no, you shouldn't say that. Amen. No, you shouldn't have done that. Uh, uh, that it, when you want to get upset, it it, it, it's, it almost feel like it tap you on your shoulder and say, no, you, you, you don't want to get upset. That, that, that might hurt that person. That might, you know, and you, you're living a life where uh, uh, you're pleasing to God. You're living a life where you you're wearing uh, Jesus on your on your chest. So you want to be mindful of what you say and not just what you say, but how you say. It. This 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 life is is so much great. And God God just he he gives you wisdom and knowledge and understanding. He opened doors that that man can't do. Amen. And he closes doors. Amen. That uh man can't open amen mm -hmm. it, it, god is just he's he's almighty all powerful who wouldn't want to serve a god like that oh, amen and when you think about his enemy the mm -hmm. bible say that the thief cometh to steal kill mm -hmm. and destroy that's what satan comes to do he comes mm -hmm. to steal kill and destroy and then Next, the other scripture says, "But God, but I came that you might have life, and Amen. that more abundant. That don't Amen. even take a rocket science to choose who you want. You want to serve somebody that's trying to destroy you, or you mm -hmm. want to serve somebody that wants to give you life and that Amen. more abundant. Mm -hmm. Amen. God is 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 so good to His people. Amen. Even when we go through things." Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not going through it alone. Mm -hmm. The Holy Ghost is a comforter. God gives us that 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 comforter, that power. Amen. To be able to to go through things. Amen. And and and, and come out. Amen. Uh, I won't say unscarred because that wouldn't be true. Mm -hmm. We 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 go through mm -hmm. some things and it, it and it, it changes us, but it's for our good, and we go oh, through yeah. it. Amen. With the power of God, Amen, uh, to teach us how and, and what 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 it is God's trying to uh, make better in our life. Because everything mm -hmm. we go through, God said, is for our good. 
That means it's to better us in some way. I don't care how it hurts and what, what type of pain we go through. Amen. God uses that. Amen. To better us. Um, amen. In this scripture, in this part, this is the last scripture. I, I, I see the time is almost. Uh, Luke 4, 18. This is Jesus stood up in the temple. Just to give you a little background. Jesus stood up in, in the temple and he read this he read this scripture. Uh -huh. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because read. he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. To the poor. Yeah. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Oh, stop right there, missionary. I just, because there's a, there, there's a lot of not just grief going around. Mm -hmm. There's a yes. lot of broken heartedness. Amen. Amen. And this scripture, <laughs> this scripture is mm -hmm. so powerful. Yes. He said he came, he sent me to heal the broken hearted. Yes. Amen. God came to heal that broken heart. Oh, yes. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Read missionary. To preach deliverance to the captives. To preach deliverance and to those that are captive. Mm -hmm. They they those those that, that that that's been slave, been made slaves to sin. God said, I came uh to preach deliverance, to break to you free captive. from 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 captivity of sin. Yeah. This is God talking. Amen. Amen. It gets me excited. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Because listen, to, he said he came to preach the gospel, which is the good news to the poor. Amen. He sent me to heal, to mend up that broken heart. Yeah. He sent me to, to, to deliver those mm -hmm. out of captivity. Yeah. Amen. And, and what recovering else? And recovering of sight. To the blind. To the blind. To set at liberty them that are bruised. That's the purpose God came. Amen. That's 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 the benefit of being a servant to God. Amen. Amen. Yes. Versus a servant to sin. Sin yes. that's the only thing you get from sin is death. Amen. I, and I don't understand why so many more people aren't coming to God. When you look at it, when you understand that sin equals death, yes. God equals life. Yes, Lord. Amen. And not just life, but that more abundantly. Abundantly. Yes. Lord, I love God. I love God. Amen. I love God. And I think, and, and and He did this for us and didn't even have to. Amen. Amen. And he did. But the Bible said God so loved the world <laughs> that He gave Amen. His only begotten Son. Amen. Yes. Amen. God loved us. Yes. Amen. He came and and and, and died a horrifying death, the yes, death of the cross, so that we could be saved. Amen. Amen. So we don't have to be a slave to sin. Trust me with your with your forgiveness. Yeah, yeah.